Philadelphia has an iconic art museum. But some of this city's most impressive artwork is out on the street, an outdoor art gallery that pays homage to the ordinary and to the epic. It's taken many different forms. I think some of it became, some of it I was really drawn to is just like uh, specific voices within a neighborhood. And as an artist, you kind of, you're constantly like creating your own problems in your own studio. And it was one of the more kind of eye-opening and beautiful experiences where it took me outside of myself. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. hearing like, hearing some of those those voices in neighborhoods, and I never really even grew up in a city, so it was like hearing a lot of the neighborhood uh, uh, voices and concerns or ideas like in a city context was really exciting and um, something that was incredibly like deep for just imagery and ideas and um, exploration. Yeah, definitely. It, it's. I think it first started to do do it in like a in, you know in the visual imagery in my early murals, and then it was started to feed some of my thought processes in the studio too. And some, I think that like a big bigger arc and banner is just kind of like making sense of our place in the world. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of different viewpoints and like trying to understand them and be open to them and explore them and communicate around them. And so I feel like there's a there's a great arc and connection to or like how art is able to communicate. It's like a unifier sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it can, it can scratch some itches, but also like open some wounds. But I think there's like, uh, there's just something extremely powerful in just imagery. And especially in a space, a public space that already has a built env environment, has an audience, you know, it has the neighbors, or if it's like downtown, it has like a you know, transient population of people working kind of, existing in that space so they're interacting with that image and, um, or content or concept so it was just pretty exciting to try and be a part of it. With, with the public art I feel like there's not I usually respond to like the place and usually there's most of the time working with uh, uh, with public art is the public's involved in some sort of way Mm -hmm. And so there's already conversations being had. So it's like going and, and trying to like let that kind of filter through you and, and come up with ideas and um, imagery around it. Um, it'd be interesting to see if like there's some like connecting thread maybe through me. I, I think there's always one of the things I, I still want the personal part of whatever I'm doing to be attached to you know the work mm -hmm. that I'm doing. But sometimes it's hard to see like what that actually looks like or you know, is it like a, you know, is there like a larger theme that I'm kind of working under? Sometimes I start to think that there, it might be just kind of like more through landscape, even mm -hmm. though a lot of the, uh, uh, I mean, I do a lot of different kind of work in, in my studio as well. And it's, but I feel like looking at the public art, it tends to be, I start with a, a, uh, a sense of place and that kind of tends to be more landscape oriented and uh, in the way that I see things. And then kind of thinking about like the people already in, entwined in that, you don't need to put a person in it to say that there's people in it, you know? It's yeah. like we exist within it. And so like, <laughs> and so some of it is just building from there. You know, it's like, there's nothing like it where you're actually working on a wall and say if you're doing something for like 10 weeks. Like this summer, I just did one for about 11 weeks mm -hmm. uh, in Brewery Town and on the wall, every day, 11 weeks, you get to hear everything. You get to hear people be like, oh man, they get to see the entire process. Mm -hmm. It's like demystifying some of like what, you know, how something is made. And uh, and it's pretty amazing to see the reactions and also like the criticism, you know, you get to have very real conversations, you know, like sometimes, you know, what the work is about or like a, a specific view viewpoint that's not being heard. and. Um, it really opens and challenges some of the way you approach your own work. You know, they're, they're emotional. Like, mm -hmm. they can kind of be, you know, if you're, like, whatever subject matter you're starting to paint and kind of explore and, like, the people that you interact with and, like, all the stuff, it becomes extremely emotional. And um, 
you take on a lot and you feel a lot of responsibility sometimes you know stuff is going to live in uh, in a place in other people's lives and like I don't take that lightly so some of it is like so I think that that might that's kind of one of the harder things it's just extremely moving and so when you have these like very raw emotional moving experiences while you're while you're working while you know before during after it uh, changes a part of you it changes your perception that you know uh, it gives you something to like hang your hat on as far as like what's really meaningful meaningful in the world and what's uh, what's real you know